So for the throat swab, um, you're going to need a blood auger plate, which I've labeled, and then a sterile swab. And I've already swabbed my throat. See? Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to run the swab on a, about a third of the plate, and then you're going to use a loop to spread the rest of it out. So the reason why you want to streak with a loop after the swab is because some people will have more bacteria and some will have less. So if you have more, you're going to end up with a huge lawn of bacteria versus maybe some isolated colonies. So I think... Now we're going to start our streak. So one, two... The blood auger plates are going to be a little bit softer than the regular LB plates, so just be careful. You guys are going to need to do a clean catch um, of pee, so if you don't know how to do that, you can look in your lab manual to um, find out how, YouTube it, ask a friend. So we're going to use a pasteur pipette to place one drop of the serratia into each of your tubes that should have the five mils of your urine. And just like the other ones, you're going to shake until one comes out. There we go. You're going to grab it, close the lid, and now with this one you're going to use a bowl and you're just going to push it on the end. Of your pipe header and that's how you're going to draw up. Some of your serratia. You don't need very much because all you need is one drop. Oh. Yeah. You want to cut that part up? Yeah. Okay. I'm holding it all done too. So you have your infected tube. So with your infected tube, you're going to add one drop of the serratia and that's it. After you have um, added your one drop of serratia into your infected um, control, you're going to incubate these until the next lap period. So with your TSA plate, you're going to divide it in half and you're going to label one side with infected and the other side with uninfected. And what you're going to do is you're going to use these um, pre-calibrated loops to add um, the right amount of each sample onto the plate and be careful not to break your loop because then you can't use it. Okay. Opening procedure. Always in your clean zone. 